hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to do one end to end azure data engineering project and this is an important project and this project you can add in your resume also and this is an important project because similar kind of the activity you will see in organization also so what actually we will do first we will try to understand the business requirements so we have a few business requirement which is given so first we will try to understand the business requirement and after that we will try to think about the solutioning part like what are the steps should be involved and then we will move for the practical part and also we will discuss about the project setup so let us start with the projects the project name is the data migration project and uh, we have to migrate our data from a on-prem local SQL server to the cloud so that is a project so what is the business requirement it is saying like we have a data that is available in a on-prem SQL server and we want to migrate the data from on-prem SQL to the Azure storage so what actually it is saying we have a data available in a on-prem on-prem SQL server and this data we have to move into the cloud this data we have to move into the cloud so generally in real time what actually happens the companies are using from very long time this on-prem SQL and recently they are also started using the cloud so they have a data in the both the places so for the cost saving purpose what actually they try to do they try to migrate our data from on-prem to the uh, cloud so that in a one place all the data should be available so the similar kind of the project here also we are going to do we have a on-prem sql server and there we have a few table and what actually we are doing we are actually trying to transfer the data into a cloud in this particular project we are transferring data into the azure storage uh, but uh, the similar kind of the you can also move this data into the azure sql also so both the things generally happens so in this video what actually we are going to do we have a data that is available in on-prem sql server and that data actually we are moving to the cloud azure cloud uh, azure storage account what are the steps which we have to perform here we have to create an integration runtime because we have a data in on-prem sql server in this case we to transfer our data from on-prem to the cloud we need a integration runtime we need to create an integration runtime self-hosted integration runtime we have to create that is the first thing uh, we should have a sql server setup like whatever the login and authentication details you should have and after that we will try to create a data factory pipeline to do a project setup first we will try to create a azure data factory in a azure space we will also try to create a azure storage account and after that sql server uh, there the, we will try to do a project setup and finally we will try to move our data from azure from on-prem sql to the cloud space so that is the practical we are going to do so let me open my azure account so i have opened azure account first step is like i will create a data factory so i will search for the data factory here if you already have created a data factory then you can directly use i am just going to create a new data factory so I'll select the resource group here and I will give the data factory name any name you can give but make sure it should be unique and after that I will click on the review and create click on the create now you can see a deployment is initialized so after that uh, the data factory will be created now what I will do the meanwhile I will also create a storage account so in a search bar I will search for the storage I'll search for the storage I'll open in a new tab and we will create one storage account if you already have a storage account then it's good you can directly use that and you can skip this step so here we will give the storage account name and after that click on the next 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 we will go with the by default setting in a review and create you will see what are the options you have selected and after that we will click on the create let's see our data factory is ready or not you can see our data factory is ready go to resource launch studio it will open azure data factory studio and here only we will try to create a data pipeline if i show you the storage account and the deployment is in progress so we have to wait for that but our data factory is ready and here only we are going to perform all the data pipeline creation and all so let me see if my storage account is ready or not it is still in progress you can see the deployment is going on so we have to wait for that so in this uh, 
uh, Azure Data Factory from pipeline we will create a pipeline and also if you go to the monitor here we get option integration runtime so by default it is auto resolve integration runtime so whenever you have a data in a cloud only like Azure cloud suppose you have a data Azure SQL and you want to move into the Azure storage means you are moving a data from Azure to Azure in this case auto resolve integration runtime will work but suppose you have a data in your local or on-prem SQL server and from here if you have to move a data into the Azure in that case we have to create a self-hosted you can see this self-hosted right this self-hosted integration runtime we have to create and that actually we will see how actually we can create that now let me see you can see deployment is complete for the storage account I'll click that I'll go to the data storage click on the container and here I will create a new container the name I will give target click on the create so I created one container as of now no data is available here means we have created a data factory we have created our storage account so let's do a project setup so what I will do I will open my SQL server I hope you have already downloaded if you haven't downloaded please download the SQL server SQL Server Management Studio this I am going to use so I'll open this we will try to create a table we'll try to create a database and we will try to insert some value and then that data we will try to move so once you will open the SQL Server by default you can see it is giving me the SQL Server name and the authentication is the Windows authentication and uh, once you will click on the connect you will be able to connect you don't need to pass a password and all but generally whenever you have to connect into the cloud right uh, we should have uh, the SQL Server authentication means you should have uh, this login and the password details so that actually you should have so how actually uh, we can uh, set up this login and the password because we know only the Windows authentication right so how actually we can do so for doing that what you have to do go to the database go to the security go to the login click on the new login and here you can give any login name like uh, SQL project or something you can give any name and you have to select the SQL server authentication you have to pass, pass the password you have to pass the password and after that you have to click on the server role uh, let's select all the admin role as of now because we are doing a testing and uh, we're doing a project right so let me select all the admin password also and user mapping uh, what are the database actually you want to see so this employee database employee uh, this all the access I want so I'll select that and after that I will click on the ok once you will click on the ok now you click on the connect database engine click on the SQL server authentication and uh, this you have created right whatever the password you have given you can also pass and click on the connect so it will first ask the to pass the new password to set up a new password first time so try to set up those in real time directly you will be having a username and the password but we are doing a project right so that's why we are doing this all the kind of the setup you can see i am able to log in so now whenever we will create a link service right there we will pass this login and the password so i am going to use this sql project this is one of the login password i have already created so that actually i am going to use that now uh, after that what actually we will do so let me log in once again click on the connect i am able to log in right uh, multiple time it got logged in I'll remove this I'll go to the database in this database you can see we have a multiple uh, databases already available so what actually we will do we'll click on the new query and in this new query I have one of the command this one you have to execute this so what actually we are going to do we are going to create one database name as an employee and after that we are going to use that employee after that we have created one table this employee one table create table employee one and after that we are inserting some value once you will execute this so you have to click on the execute then this will be executed once you will execute this 
particular table select star from employee one if i'll show you so this is the data this is data actually we want to move into the cloud now i will go to the data factory i'm in a data factory now we will create a pipeline so what we'll do we'll click on the new pipeline new pipeline i will click on the copy data what is source so we have to select our source so source is a sql server right source is sql server so we'll select the sql server click on the continue click on the link service you can see sql server we have selected and you can see by default it is coming coming the integration runtime we are going to create a new integration runtime because we have to move our data from on-prem to the sql so click on the new you can see azure azure when you have a data from azure to azure then you can go for the azure but when you have a data from on-prem and if you want to move data then we have to click on the self-hosted so i'll click on the self-hosted click on the continue this is the integration runtime we are going to create click on the create once you will do you will get this authentication key so there are two ways to install it one is the express setup and second is the manual setups click on this download and install integration runtime so we are going to install that in our window so you can see once you will click on this click on the download and here you will get option so click on this and click on the download once you will download this will be get downloaded in your pc i have already downloaded so if i'll show you this is the what i have already downloaded after that what you have to do you have to double click and you have to install it click on the next i have already installed it that's why it is showing me but for you the installation and the setup will be happen once the setup will be happen after that uh, which screen you will get you will get this particular screen uh, once you will install this integration runtime you will see this particular screen and it is asking for the authentication key so from the sql server whatever the authentication we have right this authentication key we will copy this and we will pass here and we will click on the register you can see it is uh, showing me msi and uh, integration runtime we have to click on the finish now you can see it is initializing the integration runtime uh, that for that we have to wait you can see it is uh, initialized we will click on the launch configuration manager and you can see self-hosted node is connected to the cloud service so uh, now we have already connected so i'll click on the close here and I'll just refresh it. You can see now it is here. After that, we have to pass the server name and the database. So, what is the server name? So, if I click on the connect database engine, you can see we are getting option the server name. So, this is the server name I will copy and I will paste here. I'll pass the database name on which particular database uh, we want to copy. So employees are one of the database in the left side. I have created an employee database. So I will use an employee database. And whatever the database you have, you can also select. After that, it is asking the SQL authentication. So here we have to provide our username and the password. SQL project, this I will give. And um, password, which I have done the setup and after that the main important thing is like to test a connection whether we are able to establish a connection or not you can see connection failed it is saying so this trust server certificate this was not enabled so i have just enabled it previously we were getting error right so after clicking on that you can see the test connection is successful after that we have to click on the uh, create now our link service is ready I am showing you all the step because the, we can get an error, right? So we have we should know like how to debug. So you can see this uh, link service we have created, and you can see all the table you can see. So in this employee, if I'll show you uh, my employee database, 
this is employee database in this employee database i have a multiple table you can say department these are the table i have created i already have a multiple table so i will select any one of them let me select this employee one table after that i will click on the ok so you can see our source is ready if you want to preview data click on the preview data you can see i am able to read this employee id name gender salary department and the experience so if i will show you if i'll execute this you can see these are the details here we have and we are able to read from here also now i'll go to the sync a sync this process is simple right blob storage we want to copy so i'll select that delimited text we'll create a new link service and here we will select all our subscription storage account and we'll click on the create now you can see it is successfully created uh, which particular file path you want to copy in a target location i want to copy so i'll select that click on the ok click on the ok now our source and the sync is ready we'll click on the publish all we are not getting any error click on the publish you can see publish is completed now i'll click on the add trigger click on the trigger now click on the ok i'll go to the monitor you can see run is succeed now let me try to see our data is available in our blob storage or not so this is a blob storage this is the target location and here you can see we have a data which got copied from a sql server means we are able to successfully migrate it from a on-prem to the sql you can see all the data is available here